There's a lot of information embedded within cloud points now as far as quality and intensity from particular instruments. When it can be recorded, these inf this information is embedded as a color um, or you can actually get image uh, colors as well. But the ATS-600 is one of the instruments that's kind of leading the way in how we're exploring how to use color information to help you understand the quality of the data. So for the ATS, there's a um, three different colors, red, green, and blue, and the red is used for a broadening factor, which gives you a quality indication, and the green and blue is used as an intensity. So this information can be accessed by right-clicking on the category and going to the RGB filtering option. This brings up a dialog which allows you to see uh, that information. So here we have uh, the quality um, is mostly very good. There's just a couple of points that are bad and the intensity is in the, this middle range. So you can kind of get an idea. And if you want to get it just at the intensity, grayscale is also another option. You can display things as a grayscale and change the scale to a grayer yeah, intensity. So either one, you can either use the full red, green, and blue or this grayscale, and you can also exclude data. So if I wanted to go to this quality filter and say I only want to include this data that's uh, at a very high quality, I can do that. I can exclude the points that were along the edges of this part really easily. The other thing I can do is switch over this intensity and then choose a certain intensity of data. So say I wanted to only include data which is really this grayer color, I can apply the filter there as well. And we automatically now include this grayscale contrast option which will readjust the grayscale where generally you would see almost a continual gray that's within this very narrow color band. We now have the ability to include this checkbox which will adjust the contrast so you really can see chalk marks or other features within the uh, color within the gray. So these are just a couple of the improvements that we have now in the new version. You can also use it with any individual color. So if you wanted to look at blue or green um, or red, you know, you've got the different kind of colors if you, if you wanted to get at them individually and you can enter very specific values. So this has become a very adapted control for um, looking at intensity and quality information from the ATS and basically any instrument.